Five footballers Leeds fans hate. Now quickly, before I get into the video, I'd like to point out that not all Leeds fans will hate these footballers, but I would say about 75% of fans would hold a grudge against these players and they have shown disrespect to our club over the last few years. Let's go on with the video. Number five is Giuseppe Belushi. It's fair to say Belushi is not a favourite among Leeds fans. He has disrespected the club many times by putting in awful performances, losing his cool on many occasions and potentially racially abusing Cameron Jerome. But perhaps his most heinous crime was refusing to play for the club under Neil Redfern. I've actually found some footage of Leeds fans giving Belushi abuse in a recent pre-season game. Belushi has since left the club and although I'm glad to the back of him, I do feel bad for him in the fact that he got a lot of abuse from Leeds fans when he was still a Leeds player and I don't think that should be happening. But what are your opinions on Belushi? Number four is Harry Kuehl. Whilst at Leeds, Harry Kuehl was seen as one of the best young players in the Premier League. Once Leeds hit their financial issues, he had to be sold to earn more money. He was eventually sold to Liverpool, but he tried to grab every last penny he could by taking a two million out of the five million fee we received for him. This act is especially disgusting considering that Leeds needed every bit of money they could get considering their financial problems. Kuehl then dramatically flopped at Liverpool and then, at the end of his career, joined Galatasaray, one of Leeds' biggest rivals. All these actions put together makes him an absolutely despisable character for Leeds fans. Number three is Charlie Taylor. Charlie Taylor had been a fan's favourite at Leeds for many years. His great performances won him lots of personal accolades. But before the 2016-17 season, Charlie Taylor handed in a transfer request which Leeds United subsequently rejected. Taylor then refused to sign a new contract even though we were showing signs of promise under Gary Monk and then, once the season collapsed, refused to play on the last game of the season against Wigan. This upset many Leeds fans, including myself, because the Wigan game had little to no purpose. There was no reason for him to refuse to play in that game. He then left for Burnley and decided to give no goodbye message to his hometown club. Disgraceful. Number two is Eric Cantona. Eric Cantona is strongly regarded as one of the best Premier League players of all time, and whilst at Leeds, he helped them win the top division title and the Community Shield. But during the 92 93 season, while Leeds and Man United were in a heated title challenge, Cantona left Leeds for the Reds. Not only did he help Man United win the title that season instead of Leeds, which was a pretty unforgivable act. In Leeds fans' perspective, we then won loads more trophies with the Red Devils. It was hard to see him playing in a Man United shirt. Although he did not force through the move from Leeds to Man United, in fact, it was not his fault at all, it's really hard to see such a great Leeds United player go on to become a Man United legend. Not only that, but Eric Cantona did some pretty bad things at his time at Man United, such as Kung Fu kicking a Crystal Palace fan. Number one is Alan Smith. Alan Smith is the iconic enemy for about 90% of Leeds fans as he transferred straight from Leeds to Manchester United during our financial troubles. This was made even worse by the fact that he had kissed the badge of Leeds and proclaimed his love for the Yorkshire club. Personally, I don't hate Alan Smith as he had to be sold to Manchester United in order to make funds. There were lots of money problems at the time and also he actually gave away his part of the transfer fee that belonged to him and gave it back to Leeds, unlike somebody such as Harry Kuehl, who tried to take as much money out of the club as he could, Alan Smith actually gave something back. But despite this, most Leeds United fans absolutely hate him. Thanks for watching, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already, but otherwise I will see you next time.